us here in the studio, uh, uh, Chief Whiteley, Chief Dwayne Whiteley, former chief of the Lear. Lear Lyria Police Department, pardon me, and uh, Greg Truhan, former Youngstown police officer and former Secret Service agent. Uh, Chief Whiteley, let me ask you, what does it mean to officers, what does it mean to the law enforcement community to see so many people out in support today? Uh, well, it, it means so much. You, you know, you can't really describe how much it means um, and what it feels like when you see it. Um, truly brings a lump to your throat when you, you, you see the outpouring of support that comes police officers and firefighters and everybody really in public service, um, they go about doing their job every day uh, and they're busy and, and people are busy with their lives and they don't always see the support that the, the public gives to the, the law enforcement out there. Uh, and this is a stage where they do and it is overwhelming. Greg Schoen, we talked about this the last time you were here, former Youngstown police officer, again, former Secret Service agent. What can the public do today and in the days to come to support police officers in every community? Well, I think exactly what you're seeing uh, with this funeral and what you saw with uh, Officer Durbin's funeral, the support is there with the public and the officers appreciate that and just keep up that support. Whether um, I love the story about the, the six-year-old or seven-year-old yes. wanting to mm -hmm. shake hands, such a, a, such a simple gesture but so powerful, uh, it's, things, it's things like that. And uh, you know, appreciating uh, the officers, thanking them for their service like we do the military, thanking them for the, uh, the job that they do. It is a dangerous job, we, we, we know that every day. Uh, but uh, you know, when people, uh, people are having a bad day, they call 911 and we're there 24 seven, 365. And unfortunately, these are things that are the reality of the world that we live in. But just showing that support and thanking them goes uh, a long way. Uh, control room, if we can. Let's, let's, let's put the procession back up if what we have here. Yeah, so. It looks like we don't have that right now. Um, well, is this a live picture here, folks? Control room? Okay, we'll keep that shot up right now as I continue to talk to my guests. Uh, uh, Chief Whiteley, last time w w we spoke, you, you, you talked about how you dealt with a similar situation. You mm -hmm. lost an officer early in your tenure with uh, the Elyria Police Department. Uh, how did you round up the troops? How did you get your, your team? How did you get, get, move on from that? Well, you know, you don't really ever move on. You just keep going, um, if that makes sense. Um, I can tell you the assistance that we got from so many uh, groups of people, uh, from other police departments, especially Cleveland, um, from the community. Uh, if, you, if you look at the firefighters that came out and the EMS workers that came out, um, and that by itself is part of the healing. Um, I didn't have to gather our, our department together. They did that on their own. Um, they just naturally come together. Uh, and you just, you're, you're just part of that and, and, and try to keep the perspective because it, it hurts. It hurts a lot. Mm -hmm. um, and the officers that were on the shift with them that night, um, it really hit them hard and understandably so. So you just try to be there for them. Um, and, and really, the public is doing that. Mm -hmm. uh, I know the department is doing that, and, and all the departments in the area are stepping up just to do that. Again, this was early in your tenure, and I believe you told me last time we talked about this, you called the Cleveland Police Department to get some advice yes. on how to handle this. What can you tell me about that conversation? Um, it, it came in different areas, but uh, in the beginning, uh, you know, I was the chief for two weeks. Um, and had no idea what I, I was supposed to do or how to do it. Um, and some of our officers were on the uh, Greater Peace Officers Memorial Society, and they got a hold of the Cleveland uh, ceremonial unit for us. They were out that day, uh, walked us through the steps. I made a phone call to uh, the Cleveland Police Chief's office, who was um, Chief McGrath, and this was at like 9, 10 in the morning. And I said, this is who I am. I just, I, I just want to talk mm -hmm. to Chief McGrath and, and get an idea of what I need to do as a police chief for the department, for the officers, and for the community. Um, and she's put me right through. She cleaned his schedule, met me at noon the same day, went through everything, which is a lot. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, I, I could never thank uh, Cleveland PD for everything they did for us mm -hmm. and got us through, helped us get through that.
We understand the procession is on I-90 now. The next stop is uh, Carnegie, uh, where it will exit at that point, make its way down East 55th and to the 3rd District Police Station. We're going to take you there in, in just a bit. But while we wait for that, let me ask you, uh, Greg Truhan, you as a Youngstown police officer, you told me you went through a similar situation there where you lost an officer in a different circumstance, but still, an officer was lost. How did the department come back from that? Well, I, I think... You have to you have to go on. You have to c continue and do your job. But you know you hear some sometimes people say, "Well, I hope you find closure." You, there is no closure. You know, not for the family members of the officer, friends of the officer, uh, not for the family of uh, the officer's colleagues. Uh, you, you, it's it's always there. It's there's it's there's never any closure to it. But you you have to go and do your job. You know, you're a professional. And uh, you have to uh, put, a, put aside your, your personal life and, you, and the things that happen in the professional life and go do your job. And when people are good at their job, that's what people want. We want people that are good at our job. And, and uh, whether it's you go to the doctor or having surgery uh, or getting on that airplane with that pilot, you want people that are good at their job and that's what we do. As we wait for the procession to make its way down East 55th Street to the 3rd District Headquarters, I want to give you some more insight into uh, who Officer Ritter was.